I hate duckweed. And once in a while I will get enough of it where I try and do something about it. And so duck weeding, I'll end up using my shrimp net or a pair of aquascaping tweezer tongs, whatever. And with the shrimp net, it, it's tedious, but I will go in and just net it up where I can. Problem is, in, in this tray, there are guppies, and they'll swim right in, because they're not the sharpest tools in the shed. They, they're pretty sure there's gonna be food in there. And I try to keep the other floating plants in, in the in the tray, there's a little piece of red root floater right there. So I'll put that back in. So yeah, it's time consuming, it's tedious. There's a tray right next to this tray that I got most all the duckweed out. It'll be back, it's still hiding under pieces of uh, dwarf water lettuce. So with this, just the one thing you don't wanna do is sink the net to try and catch anything because it'll all float right back out on you. You got to do, you, you know, you get this dip and swoop, dip and swoop, dip and swoop. And then you can use the bottom of the net to, to smack areas to free it up if you've got other floating plants that you're trying to keep. So dip and swoop, and there's a guppy. And now it's gone. So, nope, it's still there, see it? So I'll just encourage it to get out. And then another way I will do this, equally tedious, but a lot more selective, is with the tongs. So I pull them out, and I'll just keep a, a paper towel around. They've got this long root underneath them. I don't know if you can see that, yeah, that fibrous root underneath the duckweed there. And, you know, if I've got nothing else to do and I feel like I'm kind of fed up with the duckweed, I will just keep doing this. And I've actually beat it in a couple tanks this way. Um, problem is, if you introduce anything back into those tanks that have duckweed, or from tanks that had duckweed, it's gonna come back. I'm not sure where I got this stuff. I got a feeling it was uh, came in from a fish shop. It might've come in with other plants that I ordered online. So just catch them up and, uh, you know, put on some, Put on some music, grab your favorite beverage, uh, and catch out the pieces of duckweed. And yeah, it takes a little time, but I'll eventually, you know, another 10, 15 minutes, I'll have all the duckweed in this tray. And, and that's better, and that's the only way to kind of keep up with it. Otherwise, it'll take over in no time flat. In fact, what I think I'm gonna do is save a piece of duckweed and put it in a fish bowl and see how long it takes to cover the fishbowl. I might just do that. Sounds like a fun experiment. And then it's all in one place, and when I'm done, I can throw it in the dump. Actually, I'll throw it out in the yard, compost. I know people will say, well, you can feed it your goldfish. Well, I don't have any goldfish. Well, you can get some goldfish. I don't want goldfish. And I don't have a place to keep them. So that's not it. And I know, uh, you know, other people, other, you know, will love the stuff, and that's great. For my money, it's one of the most invasive plants there are in the aquarium hobby is duckweed. It's nasty. It'll cut out all the, yeah, it sucks up the nitrates, but it'll also uh, completely shade out your tank if you're not careful. And I already did a, a, a video on floating plants and, and how they, you know, I've been mismanaging them for far too long. And I had the dwarf water lettuce that completely took over a tank, a couple tanks actually. And I was scooping it out by the handfuls and just throwing it out in the, um, throwing out in the yard, you know, on, on just on bare dirt. Let it let it break down, feeds the soil. Um, so anyway, that's kind of my two cents on this subject. So here we are, about five minutes later. I left one piece right there because I'm going to use that one for the fishbowl experiment. And I guess, you know, you could also, if you really want to get rid of this stuff, one thing to do would be to take everything out of the tank. If there's any rocks, bleach them. Uh, scrub the inside of the tank clean. I'm guessing if you got any gravel, you're going to have duckweed if you put, if you use it again. So maybe if you just swapped, excuse me, swapped out sand or gravel, and let that sit around for, I don't know, a while, months, you know, and 
get that five gallon bucket out and just put it all in that and let it sit around. It may be, uh, it may be safe to use again. Um, one of the joys of duckweed is it sinks down and hangs up. And that long little taproot I showed you, uh, that tends to cling on to stuff. Uh, here's a piece right there. I missed one. Uh, and apparently I still missed it. And there it is. That's it right there. So there's the, the two leaves stuck to my finger and that little tap root. And that just clings on to stuff. Uh, and then they'll get caught. Here's another one. So I didn't get them all. They'll get caught, uh, there it is, uh, in and amongst other plants. And that's one of the other things that makes it so hard to control. So it really, you know, it's, I guess it's a matter of persistence. I spent about 10 minutes clearing this one out. Uh, mostly used my little shrimp net. I guess that's really all I used on this one. I didn't break out the tweezers until I started making this video for this one. The uh, uh, red root floater is a little harder to uh, get the duckweed out amongst or you know out from. So that's why I was using the tweezers. But uh, the uh, the shrimp net works really well for it. And you'll build a technique. You know, if you start doing it, you'll actually build some sort of a technique that'll work for you. And I was going to do that because I was going to add some more potted plants into this one. That's one reason I, I got a. Um, I wanted to get the duckweed out of here and I'll try and do a better job keeping it out and I see another piece right actually a couple pieces right back here right behind that right there so just scoop that up one little leaf I got a feeling there's some meristematic tissue on it and uh, it will make more and there's another one so every time you move this stuff around you're gonna see it there right there you're going to see it popping up. And I just got a piece of that Rickia water spangle. So I'll probably try and fish that out of there because I want to keep that. Um, I've got a few floating around anyway. That's uh, this stuff here. That stuff there. And I want to keep that. So, uh, so anyway, that's just more thoughts on duckweed management because that's really what it comes down to. It's like, you know, I, you know, up duckweed, yeah, something like that. <laughs> so I guess it's still kind of a family place, so anyway. But you all get it. So anyway, I hope that helps. And maybe you'll get something out of it, and I hope so. And as always, thanks for looking.